And in the interest of showing you exactly where the donations will go, we paid a visit to the De Colores Child Development Center in the Fruitvale District to get a look at the Head Start and the early Head Start programs. Spend a little time in this Head Start classroom at the De Colores Child Development Center and you will see just how much Zenaida Barajas loves her job. I love to work with children. This is my passion. That's why I'm here uh, helping people like for almost 11 years. Her class is filled with children who speak both English and Spanish, so she speaks to them in both. Her mission is simple, get them ready for elementary school. How to uh, learn numbers 1 to 10 and uh, very basic things. And, uh, they but say, they need that for kindergarten. Uh, yes, that's very important for parents. But the most important, they say, I want my child to learn how to socialize how to make friends, how to talk. But Head Start isn't just about the children. It's also about parents and helping low-income families break the cycle of poverty. We try to take care of not just the child and where they are here in school, but the kind of the entire family and providing, and we're helping them to be able to advocate and provide for themselves. That means helping with housing and education. Still, the nonprofit says it's fair to say it could use a little help helping others. The Unity Council's Head Start and Early Head Start programs reach over 900 families across Oakland and Concord. But at any given time, there are dozens of families waiting to get their children a spot. I mean, we have a pretty long waiting list and so does the city of Oakland. And while the need is great, the resources are sparse. It is hard to find qualified teachers. So the Unity Council is doing what it can to develop its own teachers, helping people like Zenaida Barajas pay for school. Yeah, they helped me this year with my tuition. This June I just got my BA on child development. Congratulations. Yeah. You're investing in the community, though. Mm -hmm, exactly. And so it's fair to say that you have a shortage of space, a shortage of teachers, and a shortage of resources, but a long waiting list of people who need your help. That's exactly right, yeah. yeah. That's a big mountain to climb. Yeah, yeah. But they climb it anyway, because they say for many families, this is their only option. It's, it's very important. This is their only option. Yes, and because they don't have the opportunity because remember they are low income and um, go to a, a preschool is very expensive. Yeah, so they can't come so here. They can't likely, afford it. Yeah, they're likely not going anywhere. Yes. The Dia de los Muertos Festival in Oakland takes place on October 30th from 10 until 5 and it is free to attend.